Welcome to the Thielman Athletic Club Holiday Youth Scholarship Bowling Tournament. We would like to thank WSCS-TV for once again filming our championship matches. We would also like to thank Bill and Paula Hilbert, owners of Lakeshore Lanes, for hosting today's tournament and being a major sponsor. The first match that WSCS-TV will be filming today is the fourth place team in qualifying, bowling against the third place team. That winner will bowl against the second place team in qualifying, and then that game's winner will bowl against the team leading qualifying for the championships. First place winning teams will split the $1,500 prize. Second place is $750. Third place is $450, and fourth place is $300. Our color commentator today is a local bowler who, for the past few years, has been bowling in the Midwest Regional Pro Tour. He is Scott Hunick. Scott, I'm going to step forward here. Scott will be commenting on the bowlers during the stepladder finals, and he will be interviewing some of the bowlers during the matches. This should be interesting. Welcome, Scott. Thank you. Can you say anything? No, we're good. No? Let's okay. get bowling. All right, at this time, the fourth place qualifiers for Division One, come on up. And the third place division qualifiers. All right, this will be, they will be bowling uh, our first match along with the division two on the other pair of lanes. Thank you. Now division two, fourth place qualifiers, come on up. And third place qualifiers. These two teams will be bowling against each other. This is a Baker format where they rotate bowling. It's been fun, and I think we're in for some good excitement here. Thank you, and we'll be right back with today's first match. We, we just, just finished dinner, dinner, and it was time for homework. homework. He I hates hate homework. homework. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying as try hard as I harder. can. One in five children struggle with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. All right, welcome back, everybody, to the Thielman Athletic Club 2018 tournament, youth tournament, here at Lake Shore Lanes in Sheboygan. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Chuck Miesfeld, Lake Shore Lanes, and, of course, Thielman Athletic Club. Right now, we're going to get matches started with fourth place taking on third place in both Division I and Division II. Uh, handicap is based 100% difference of team average, so we will get into that as we get bowling. All right, good luck both teams, and you're good to go. Those of you watching this year, you change the format around. We're doing a Baker format this year. Three person. And starting off with a pair of strikes by Gabby and Chase. Fourth place team in Division One. Division One will be on your left hand side on lanes 21 and 22. Division Two is on lanes 23 and 24. So your fourth place team in Division One is Team New Team. They have a 192 team average. They are bowling against the third place qualifiers of HSA. They have a 171 team average. So the difference of that would be 21 pins. So HSA will be getting 21 pins this game. In Division Two, the fourth place team is Three Musketeers. They have a team average of 132. And the third place team of Three Spares has a team average of 106. So the difference there is going to be 26 pins. Good looking ball by Logan Weigel. This is a one game match. Spares are critical. A break there in lane 22, breaking up the split. 
Chase coming back here on lane 21. See if he can put a double together for his team. Which he does. Everett covering his spare in lane 22. Gabby Tenpin, lane 24. So each division had nine teams in each division, so they ended up bowling everybody once. And there was also a blind, so the team that was not paired up with anybody bowled the blind, so they actually bowled nine games of qualifying today. Parker covers his spare. Autumn on lane 24. Leaves the five pin. Logan coming up a little bit high, seven cone split. Well, it's a unique format this year. Uh, both team, all the teams had to have at least one girl in their team. Um, and there was a couple teams, I believe, that were all girls. Oh, picking it up the hard way. Everett getting ready to throw on 22. Pulls it a little bit. Gets a break, breaks up the split. Leaving the 6-10. Sadie covers her spare on 23. of HSA is off to a great start. Uh, 60 pin lead on team new team. That's in division one. Division two game is a little bit tighter. Uh, what a difference of four pins right now. Issues on lane 21 here. We'll get those resolved here shortly. Logan trying to bounce it out. Didn't quite get there. Izzy covers one on her split. Let's see the totals here. Actually, a frame ahead over there, so it's pretty even right now in 23 and 24 in Division Two. Right now we're gonna have a word with Chase. Chase, uh, you started off pretty hot here. You got three strikes out of the three frames you shot. Uh, you guys are looking pretty good going into the 10th frame here. Do you think having a lane issue over there is gonna ice you guys down a little bit or do you think you'll be okay? How old are you? Uh, 15. 15. What school do you go to? Uh, Plymouth High School. Plymouth High School, and that'd be what? Freshman? Mm -hmm. Freshman? Good. All right, well, go get him. That's Chase Hailing. He bowls out at Odyssey Fun Center in Sheboygan Falls. 
21 is fixed. And we're good to go. HSA putting up a turkey, and they'll chase a go up in the tenth to finish that off, and that one's pretty much a done deal. Uh, Team New will end up taking fourth place. HSA is going to move on to bowl the number two seed here in just a little bit. So we'll concentrate over here on Division Two. That is a big split. If Luke can make this, it would put a lot of pressure. Get over there. That a boy. Luke covers that spare, so that's going to be huge for this team. If Izzy can put a mark together, Team 3 Spares could win this game. I don't need a mark. I should just need good count. Looking at the score sheet here. Which she gets on the first ball. So Team 3 Spares is going to move on in Division 2, and they will face the team of Hambone. And in Division 1, HSA moves on, and they will face the second seed team of Guess Who. Izzy and Chase will finish up their 10 frames here. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Chuck Miesfeld, Lakeshore Lanes, and Thielman Athletic Club for all of their work with the Thielmans and putting on the youth scholarship tournaments here in Sheboygan County. We'd also like to thank Gary Gasper for putting this together and all of his helpers with the Thielman Athletic Club. Izzy misses a spare, but that's okay. The team will move on to face the next round. So that's it for the first round of this. We'll be right back after these words for the second match of today's finals. Why don't you ever see elephants hiding in trees? Because they're really good at it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Team HSA won their match. Mong up, and they'll be bowling against our second place qualifying team. Mong up. That was, guess who I guess was your name, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, this will be the next match on 21 and 22. Thank you. Then the team that won the last match, come on up. Congratulations on winning. And they will be bowling the second place in qualifying. Come on up. This team's name was Hambone. So that will be the match on lanes 23 and 24. We'll be right back with that match starting. Drop that baby. All right, welcome back for round two of the Thielman Athletic Club 2018 Youth Tournament here at Lakeshore Lanes in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. We'd like to thank our sponsors again, Chuck Miesfeld, Lakeshore Lanes, and of course the Thielman Athletic Club. Here we go with match number two. HSA will be taking on Gasu in Division One. Uh, that handicap difference is going to be 21 pins going to HSA. In match two and division two, three spares has a team average of 132, and team Hambone coming in as the second seed has an average of 160. So that difference will be 28 pins. Here we go with match number two. Peter Merver is going to lead things off on lane 22. Comes up a little bit high. 
Team Hambone gets a strike on lane 24. Izzy coming through clutch on 23, starting off with a strike. She had a key spare in that first match. That pretty much sealed the deal for their team to move on to the next round. So in total, we had a total of 18 teams compete today in a Baker format, three-person Baker format. It's a unique format and fun. A lot of the high school uh, bowling clubs will bowl the Baker format throughout the year for their high school matches. So these younger kids are getting a taste of what it's going to be like in high school here in a couple years for them. So 18 teams, 54 bowlers. Out of those 54 bowlers, 24 bowlers will receive scholarship money from today's tournament. Um, we're going to award $1,500 for the first place team. It'll be $500 for each bowler on that team that gets first place. The fourth place teams in the last match that finished in fourth place will receive $300. $100 for each person. So a lot of scholarship money for the kids to use when they go to college. Luke trying to cover his spare in lane 23. Coming a little bit light, gets three. that with no problem. Chase Hailing started off with a strike, now looking for his second strike on lean 21. And he comes up a little bit high. Hunter on lean 24, seven count. So the lanes are drying up a little bit. Kids are going to have to make some adjustments, move in a little deeper, or pick up the speed. Chase getting two out of four over there on 21. Hunter going for his spare. And gets two out of the three. Spares are huge in Baker format. Covers his spare in lane 22. Let's see if we can get four spares here out of this. Sadie's trying to convert hers on 23. Looks good. Got it. Three out of the four. Not bad. Veronica up on lane 22. Nice, smooth delivery. Four pin. It's a good ball by Luke there. Good form. Probably just needs to hang on to the ball just a little bit longer to get more reaction out of that ball. That pin was just about halfway down and came back. Veronica up on 22 to cover her spare. Right on line. So the team that loses here will be finishing in third place, and that team will get $450 of scholarship money for that team, each bowler receiving $150 each in scholarship money. Melanie up on lane 22. We're going to bring Melanie back here and talk to her in a bit. And 10 pin coming in a little behind the head pin. Izzy wasn't happy with that. 
that ball, but Skipple making that spare. Chase throwing another strike on 21 after leaving the split. A good try by Hunter on 24. So let's take a look at our totals here. Team three spares has a commanding lead over Team Hambone on 23 and 24. And our match on 21 and 22 is pretty tight right now. Uh, Team HSA is actually a frame ahead of them, so we'll see how that pans out here in the next frame. Team HSA has a double up working, and Team Guess Who has nine spare. Right now we're going to talk to Melanie real quick. So Mel, you, you guys came in here as the second seed, bowled pretty good in qualifying. How, did, how does it compare to Junior Gold? You, you bowled really well at Junior Gold, congratulations with that. And I heard you qualified again for next year in Detroit. Are you looking forward to that? And, and what's the difference between now and, and then? The big difference is it's a lot more stressful because you're on your own. And uh, it's on a lot bigger scale too. It's a little bit bigger scale, and you are on your own, so it's a little bit more pressure on yourself. But bowling, bowling a Baker format versus bowling by yourself, do you think there's more pressure in a Baker format versus individual? I think there's a lot more pressure not to let your teammates down, but it's a lot better with that you've had people to support you. Right, good luck. Go get one here. So that was Melanie. She did well at Junior Gold last year. You may have seen her on ESPN. Uh, she ended up finishing, I believe, third or fourth in her division. Uh, she bowled really, really well. Uh, the person she bowled against just got some really good breaks against her. Uh, hopefully she'll uh, keep that up this year. So let's take a look at our scores here. And it looks like Team Three Spares is going to move on, beating Team Hambones. So Team Hambones is going to finish in third place. And they will win $450 in scholarship money. Uh, we're looking over here at 21 and 22. Team HSA has a bit of a lead. Melanie just pulled it a little, but carried the trip to four pin. It's a huge, huge shot right there. Must make spare on 21. Covers it. Peter needs to strike here. Seal the match, I believe. Yep, that does seal the match. Team HSA is going to move on to the championship finals. And they will face Team Don't Squeeze the Charmin. Uh, and then Division Two, Team Three Spares is going to move on and face Team A2K. a great shot by Peter. Unfortunately, it's going to be just a little bit short on the totals. Great, great shot. So our championship match is going to be Team Three Spares against A2K in Division Two. And then our championship match in Division One is going to be Team HSA against Don't Squeeze the Charmin for the title for $1,500 in scholarship money. The championship match is going to be a little bit different, so we'll have that right after this, and we'll get to the details. All right, welcome back to the 2018 Sheboygan's Thielman Athletic Club Youth Tournament here at Lakeshore Lanes in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. We are here with the championship match. It's a unique format today. It's going to be Baker format, three-person teams. Uh, Division one, we have Team HSA with a team average of 171, facing off against Don't Squeeze the Charmin, our number one seed, with a team average of 178. That's a difference of seven pins per game. It'll be a two-game total pinfall. So Team HSA is going to get 14 pins in Division One. 
In Division Two, we have three spares facing off against the number one seed of A2K. Three spares is a 132 average, A2K a 157 average, a difference of 25 pins per game, a total of 50 pins total for the two game total pinfall Baker format. All right, let's get rolling with our final match of the day for the championship and $1,500. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Chuck Miesfeld, Lakeshore Lanes, and the Thielman Athletic Club, putting on such a fabulous tournament today. 18 teams, 54 bowlers, and $6,000 in prize money. Caden leaving the eight pin on lane 23. And in chase fashion, starting off with a strike. I believe he started off his team with a strike in every game in the matches today so far. Caden covering his spare on 23. Parker putting up a double for his team HSA. Justin carrying the light shot on 22. Again, this will be a two game total pinfall. Team HSA is gonna get 14 pins of handicap. We'll try and keep you informed on the totals as we go along. Team three spares in division two on the right on 23 and 24 is gonna get 50 pins. Kelly covering her 10 pin on lane 23. Sure, getting a strike on 23. Luke throwing on 24. Leaves the big four split, four, six, seven, ten. Caden coming up a little light, leaving the four pin on 23. Chase on 21. Getting nine. Pins there, leaving the 10 pin. Caden covers his spare on 23. Chase looking to cover his spare on lane 21. With no problem. Pulled balls from Morgan here. Maybe a little bit of pressure for her. Feeling a little uncomfortable being on TV. Justin up on lane 22. The son of Kevin. Pulls it a little bit. Seven count. Parker up on lane 21. Nice smooth delivery. Oh, oh good. It's a good break there. Almost a 7-10. Seven falls late. Izzy covers her spare on lane 24. Justin trying to cover his seven count here. And gets one. Pulled it again a little bit. Says to Kelly, pick me up. That's, that's the joy about team bowling. You know, the one comes down, you have two more people to pick you up. Bosher calling for the crossover on release and gets it. Kelly ripping through the ball in 22 and does pick up Mr. Gamont. So again, awarding over $6,000 in scholarship prizes. The second place team today is gonna go home with $750 for the team. $250 each bowler. 
the winning team is going to go home with $1,500 for the team and $500 each for each bowl. Again, we'd like to thank the Thielman Athletic Club for their continued support and running of this tournament. And Lakeshore Lanes for hosting the tournament, as well as Chuck Miesfeld for sponsoring the tournament as well. After Izzy throws her next ball, we're going to have her come over and we'll talk to her and how she's handling the pressure of bowling and what she thinks about today. Justin frustrated with himself again pulling the ball and he's just got to make that adjustment on his next ball and come back. And he's actually got a real positive attitude which is really good and you don't find that very often with youth bowlers. So. Hopefully he can overcome this and, and make some good shots here coming up. We'll see if Kelly can pick him up again. The matches are pretty tight right now. And Kelly comes through again picking up Justin. All right, we're going to say hi to Izzy. Izzy, how old are you? I'm 13. 13 currently? Okay. So where do you go to school? I go to Christchild Academy. Okay, Christchild Academy. So what do you, what have you learned so far today in bowling a Baker format versus just bowling by yourself? I learned that you know, take turns with your teammates, and it's just one game. Someone gets to go four times, and the other two three, but it's really fun. It is a lot of fun. It's, it's more fun bowling with others in a team format, and you get to cheer each other on and pick each other up when you're, when you're down. All right, good luck. Keep bowling good. All right, we get a strike on lane 21 for Team HSA. They're sitting at 151 with a strike up in the ninth. Team DSC, or Don't Squeeze the Charmin, is 117, pending the spare conversion here on 22. Not going to quite get there, so they're going to be sitting at 145 with an open. And Team HSA with 151 with a strike up. In Division 2, 23 and 24, As Caden just picked up a spare, they're sitting at 135 and a ninth with a spare up on a tenth with a fill ball to remain. Luke is up on lane 24 trying to convert seven pins. Got a good shot at it. It's crossed over too much, so. Justin continuing to struggle a little bit. Caden didn't like that shot, gets eight on the fill for a 153. Handicap is included in these scores. Izzy getting a strike in the 10th. Justin converts his spare on 22, with the fill ball remaining with a possible 165 game. Chase carries a strike for a score of 191 on lane 21. Justin fills here, they have 165. So they will be down. 163. So they'll be down 28 pins. Team A2K had 153, and three spares had 165. So that's a 12 pin difference. Teams are switching sides now. Uh, we'll be back right after this commercial break. 
There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. All right, we're back for the final game of Division One and Division Two in the Stepladder Finals. Again, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Chuck Miesfeld, Lakeshore Lanes, and Thielman Athletic Club. Uh, so we're going to do a final game here. First game, HSA beat Don't Squeeze the Charmin by 23, 28, 28 pins. So they have a 28 pin lead going into this last game. Uh, in Division Two, three spares defeated A2K 165 to 153. A difference of 12 pins. So that's a pretty tight match. DSC has their cutoff for them. And Justin coming back with a strike to lead off game number two. comes up just a little bit behind the head pin, leaving the 10 pin. Yeah, oh. Izzy wasn't sure about that one, and then turned around and you got it. You're good. <laughs> She's smiling. Good spare conversion on lane 22. Sadie up on lane 23. Looks good. Yep. Terry. And this Brugging on lane 24. Eight counts. Kelly with a great conversion on lane 21, covering the washout. Luke is on fire. Puts his team with a double, three spares with a double. So the totals are up on the boards if you're here in-house watching. Both games are totaled together. Sporting covers her eight spare. Izzy, 23. Gets another one on the fall. Kids are just getting warmed up. Somewhere on lane 21 gets a strike for his team. They're just trading back and forth right now. They're having some conversation on lane 24. Kids are trying to help each other out, line each other up. Fauscher covers the spare on lane 24. Wasn't sure about it when he released it, but no problem. Justin trying to rebound again. And he carries it. Caden on lane 24, and he carries his. Chase covers his 10 pin, no problem. That'll tighten the match up a little bit. a big ball right there by Kelly. Give her team a triple. Turkey up through the fifth frame. That's going to tighten that match up real good. Oh, no. All right. Got to bounce back here. Got to shake that off. Got to come back and make a good shot on the second ball. Luke up on lane 23. Looks like we might get two one out of this. such a good format the kids learn the value of teamwork and working together and picking each other up when someone else is down things you can use in life Rory 
trying to cover the spare and 21, got it. Mosher trying to get at least two here. He's got that. It's a big strike by Team HSA on 22 right there. They needed that. Right now, it's tight. It's a tight match right now. Actually, DSC, don't squeeze the charm, and has taken a four pin lead in Division One. Remember, they were down 28 pins going into this final game. And they now have a four pin lead going into the seventh frame. Justin has bounced back big time in game number two. He struggled in game one, and now he is back. Chase in lane 22. A little bit high, four pin. Rugging on 24, goes seven count. Kelly Whipple on 21, goes a little high and carries. Sadie trying to cover her spare on 23. Gets three. Chase covers his on 22. And Brugging covers hers on 24. So looking at the matches here, Division Two that is, we might have to get a ruling on that on 23. Uh, we have to, we have to get a ruling on this. Yep, yep. Luke? Luke. So we had a foul on lane 23. Luke caught his balance. Luke caught his balance, but he actually touched past the line, which is a foul. Despair is converted on 21. Daytona gets a nine, leaves a 10 pin on 22. So this match, DSC has 350 with a spare up on the ninth. Uh, HSA is gonna, if, if Daytona can cover this on 22, is gonna have 337 with a spare up in the ninth if she can cover on lane 22. for their team. Brug Inc. leaving the five pin on lane 24. Izzy up to convert the spare on lane 23. Needs the hook a little bit. And gets three out of the four. But team three spares is gonna run the table and win division two and $1,500 for their team. It was a great day of bowling here in Sheboygan. Again, we'd like to thank the Thielman Athletic Club, Chuck Miesfeld, and Lakeshore Lanes, Gary and Paula Hilbert. Such classy people. Thank you, Gary Gasper, for having me up again this year. Really appreciate that. Justin finishing up on lane 10, comes in a little light. That's plenty. He's just got to get one pin out of this, and it's over. So Team 3 Spares defeats Team A2K 370 to 344. Justin trying to convert five. Got it. No problem. Chase up to throw his last ball on lane 22. Match is over. Team DSC is going to win and beat Team HSA. Chase finishes with a nine count, and Team DSC don't squeeze the Charmin finishes with 390, and Team HSA finishes with 374. 
That will end today's matches at the Thielman Athletic Club Tournament here in Sheboygan. We'll be right back with the awards presentation right after this. United Way fights for the health, education, and financial stability of every person in every community. Will you? All right, welcome back to the Thielman Athletic Club Tournament for 2018. We're gonna wrap things up here today. How about a big round of applause for all the kids today and how well they bowled. Good team effort bringing each other up. I'm here with Mike Cousin from the Thielman Athletic Club. Mike, thanks again for running the tournament and handing out, what, $6,000 in scholarship money today? It's our pleasure. All right, let's get on with the awards. In Division One, finishing in fourth place, Division One fourth place. Come on up, Team New Team will win $300 in scholarship money, $100 for each kid. Team New Team, fourth place, Division One. In Division Two, Team Three Musketeers will finish with $300 in scholarship money, $100 each. Congratulations, Team Three Musketeers. These are your fourth place finishers for the Thielman Athletic Club 2018. All right, in third place, we'll start off with Division Two. In third place, Team Hambone. Team Hambone, please come on up. Team Hambone. Third place, Team Hambone, come on up. They will finish in third place and receive $450 for their team, $150 each in Division One. Finishing in third place, Team Guess Who. Team Guess Who will finish in third place and win $450 for their team, $150 each for scholarships. Congratulations to our third place teams in the 2018 Thielman Athletic Club Tournament. All right, now for our runners up, second place finishers in Division Two. Second place will be Team A2K. They will win $750 in scholarship money for their team. Congratulations, A2K. Division Two, second place. Congratulations. And in Division One, finishing in second place, Team HSA will win $750 in scholarship money. So congratulations to both teams finishing in second place today at the 2018 Thielman Athletic Club Tournament. Good job, guys. All right, that leaves us with our champions. Our champions will win $1,500 for each team. We're going to start off with Division Two. Team Three Spares, come on up, $1,500. Congratulations. I got to ask you guys quick, were you nervous? Yes. <laughs> but you did it, right, as a team. Good job. All right, in Division One, don't squeeze the Charmin. Led off by Mr. Whipple here, Justin Gamak, winning $1,500 for their team in scholarship money. And that's going to wrap it up for this year's Thielman Athletic Club Tournament. Big round of applause for all the kids for first place, $1,500. Thank you to Thielman Athletic Club. Thank you, Chuck Miesfeld. Thank you, Lake Shore Lanes, Paul and Bill Hilbert. We'll see you next year, 2019, here at Lake Shore Lanes.
Thank you.